everyone i'm sneha i'm back again with another video um so today i'm going to cover a topic uh, for like your monthly expenses if somebody is planning to come to boston and are worried about their monthly expenses so today's video i'm going to give you all your answers that what will be the estimate that you can count for your monthly expenses if you come to stay in boston okay so i'm currently a student of northeastern university and uh, everything that i'm going to talk about in this video will be from the perspective of a student so if you are a student coming in boston for like any university here for boston university northeastern or suffolk uh, all of the university goes the same way so usually students who come uh in usa they have two options to stay if you are a master student you can go for off campus housing that means you can search on your own and you can find some accommodation nearby or in the same vicinity of your university so the another option is that you can either go for on campus accommodation so if you go on campus the university is going to take care of your expenses like you have to pay them so it will not be like you're paying somewhere but it will be you're paying to your university it's kind of hostel thing so uh, it's usually recommended for the students who are uh, below 18 years and who are uh, undergrad students so maybe i think uh, for undergrad students it is compulsory to stay in on campus accommodation okay so uh, i have prepared a note from the perspective of someone who is coming here for completing their graduation uh, i mean masters or maybe after your undergrad today i have two scenarios that i will be talking about first example will be of mr a who doesn't want to expense more and who really want to cut down their expense to the lowest that he can so let's suppose if somebody wants to leave at the lowest cost they will be going for the shared room apartments here when it comes to their accommodation so let's say uh, if you're going for shared apartment you can expect the amount that can be your rent will be around 500 to 650 dollars so 650 will be like more but uh, still like you can consider that on the higher side but on an average like uh, for the uh, for the sake of example i am just considering 600 us dollar as their monthly rent although in some cases the person could also pay something lower than 500 so the scenario of boston is quite like uh, has become very strict so uh, when it comes to your expenses because boston is one of the most expensive city of usa so um, you cannot expect that you can afford a private room under this budget so i am currently living with two more girls so it's like we are three girls in a room although the room size is quite big but it is three girls so it's not it's it, it may not be sometimes that you are sharing with only two people it varies from cases to cases but i'm fortunate enough that i have found something under my budget and that is very close to university so i have no complaints in that terms so uh, let's say if you want to share with the two person like uh, it will be you and someone else so you can estimate the count that you may pay somewhat 500 to 550 but on a higher side i'm considering 600 us dollars then uh, after your rent you you have to bear with the utility charges that is not included in your rent um the only thing that can be included in your rent is the heater cost so during the winter you require heater so uh, most of the accommodation will provide you heater charges like along with your rent but some of the accommodation does not provide uh, heater charges with your rent so there will be separate thing my friend is paying that separately so i'm just considering that if you are uh, paying heater charges separately it may come to 30 dollar more but I think it most of the cases you can count this under your rent. So uh, this can be added in your rent. Other than that, we can write it as optional. Other than that, uh, your electric uh, electricity bill will come um, in shared, right? So it will be max to max $10 monthly for a month. And uh, then your water again, same $10 
gas will be same as $10 and then in some of the accommodation they charge you saver fees so that can be $15 and uh, then the necessity one Wi-Fi that will come near around $10 so you can consider all these charges and this will go to $55 if you are considering a heater with the rent. But if you're not considering heater with rent, then plus 30 more. So it will be $85. And um, then comes your traveling cost. So Boston is very good with the traveling. Um, I'm not comparing this with India, but I'm comparing the transportation with the USA. If you come and see other states of USA, you will probably not find the supportive uh, public transportation that we have in Boston. And it is, I, I like, believe me, it's it's great. I love the transportation here, but I am from Mumbai. So my expectation is like, uh, first it was not, um, it didn't meet, but uh, later on, as I know that what is going on in other states, so I believe that I'm fortunate that I'm in Boston, at least for transportation. So currently I have like my monthly expenses is zero for traveling. I will tell the trick in another, like in some of the video because it is a long story. So I don't want to go with that, but still you can consider if you are a person who pays for everything. So maybe $150 will be your transportation cost that may come monthly, but um, if you, uh, like if you want you can make it to zero so like it, it depends on the trick i will tell that later on so for example let's just consider traveling also so it will be 150 more and uh, then the most interesting part like food of course um, so here i have divided this into three segments one is your like uh, vegetables so um, i um, i'm a person who eats like street vegetables so i have the same habit here also i searched and i heard about hay market in boston it is very affordable and it is very nice if uh, you go there you will find vegetables at a very reasonable price plus fruits so these are the things that you can purchase from hay market if you're considering going hay market um, it it happens only like twice in a week on a Friday and Saturday so you have to go uh, during the weekend and uh, then you have to go and you have to purchase your vegetables that can be under $10 weekly so for four week we have $40 of budget for vegetables then comes your egg peanut butter or all those things that you have to buy from mall so for those expenses, I have uh, written down that $50 will be your extra expenses that you have to visit to mall, okay, for like egg or for your other things. Um, other things like jam, sauce, pasta or all those things. Yeah. So um, more $30 will be added on this because if you are non-vegetarian, you will be buying chicken and everything. So that can be uh, done under $30 monthly if you're not eating that every day. Um, so I think $30 will be enough for non-vegetarians. And uh, then comes your roti, rice and pulses. So if you are, although these are the things that you don't purchase every, every week. So if you are going to do it, like if you purchase 20 LB bag, that will last you for maybe three months or four months so it's like sufficient but i have calculated that too so for roti uh first thing i need to clear like uh, for roti you can go for the traditional method atta one but uh, if you like most of the students don't have time to cook and to go for that traditional way i uh, do follow that like I make uh, roti from Atta, I don't purchase the ready-made roti but we have another option of getting ready-made roti so it's like uh, they will make the roti you just have to fry it on the pan not to fry sorry you just have to like uh, warm it on the pan so it's very easy to make so if you are going for those roti you will be costed ten dollars for 30 rotis 30 three zero. so I think uh, maybe you will buy those rotis 
uh, twice a week so that can be your cost so i think for food your overall cost will be near around 150 dollars so this 150 dollars will include your meat and all those non-veg and everything like on the higher side i've calculated this so uh so in total if we count all these expenses this will go to if you calculate all this figure it can be your 955 maximum and i'm a person who handles like i, I handle my monthly expenses under 700 bucks so it's like great for me i do uh, but uh, one more thing i have like i would like to tell you guys about me i am not at all a person who expenses like uh, like anything so i am a very conduced type of person i don't expense at all in india also my lifestyle was not that fancy so i would not go to the places where it requires money <laughs> no i'm not that kind of person i'm just i save my money a lot so if you want to save your money you may go for like you can you can find something which will be very uh, uh, affordable for you in terms of rent rent affects a lot so rent uh, in renting you can find uh, uh, utilities you cannot do anything so it depends from building to building or from houses to houses so uh, rent will minimize then your monthly expenses will minimize and of course food I am uh, like I don't uh, expense a lot on food also because I am not a foodie person at all. Like I just eat something to just survive, so I don't eat much. So I think uh, like I eat much, but I am not a variety kind of person. So I am fine with eating like um, a vegetable. I don't eat leftover. That's not in my habit. But like I, I am I can eat one veggie maybe three times a week so i won't mind like changing the variety so i'm not that person that's why uh, my monthly expenses are like really really low and uh, there are few people who also have like the same um so you can handle this under 700 as well if you like minimize your food expenses all these things i have calculated on the higher side that also need to be considered but lo the lowest thing that you can go for is your 700 dollars monthly so i think uh, yeah if you go for a very accommod like for for affordable accommodation and uh, like if you shop from a, from few selective places if you won't mind like going there and buying that thing so you can make it like to the lowest but if you are like i don't want to waste my one hour and go there so you may have to expense right so i think uh, you can handle it if you come here you will find like there are shops you just have to make some efforts uh, and not even that like if you are going somewhere you can go and get your things done in in the middle of that thing so yeah that can be one thing that you can handle and if you, I'm, I'm i'm the second scenario i'm considering as somebody who wants to live in a private room all right so if you're going for a private accommodation your rent will be near around 1100 us dollars uh, and then your utilities will be same almost same only 10 to 20 dollars more or maybe it will be same in most of the scenarios and traveling also will be the same if you're using public transport maybe most of you will definitely i think none of the students have car in my college no so um, then public transport and then comes your food thing so for food, I'm just counting that this person who lives in um, in a private room will not go to hay market. So that person will buy from Stop and Shop or Trader Joe or maybe Star Market. So if you're going to buy from your like neighborhood, um, your food will be near around 190. So I think this person's cost, total cost will be 1495 like almost around 1500 us dollars so uh, the maximum you can go for is 1500 us dollars or the minimum you can go for is 900 or maybe lower than that so maybe 700 is very subjective it depends on like on the person who is going to stay here 
so if you're not from a very like luxurious lifestyle or if you're not so fancy person so maybe you will handle it right don't or yeah i have not counted one more expense that is like when you go out and you will expense some time, some month so for outing and all you can consider more hundred dollars but i think i have taken all this budget for the higher side so maybe you can handle this under this budget okay so i think that is it let me know if you guys want to know more about boston or maybe about a specific university i will be very happy to answer your questions and make another video i love making video video like video making is my hobby i love doing this so um sometimes like i just casually say anything please don't mind um, um and uh, casually say anything like i don't do editing and all i don't have time so i just put anything that i'm like naturally naturally that is coming out of me so i say that i hope i reach to 100 subscribers more and then that will motivate me to make more videos on this and uh, please guys provide me the topic for another video so that i can work on that and i can make another video if you want again i'm just uh, I i'm just saying this that all your expenses depends on you so in this video you have heard about my perspective uh, maybe you can be a different person than me so you can do different thing in your life and uh, yeah but i think uh, one more thing like i will suggest you guys if you want to save your time and money pair up with someone who is a very good friend of yours and uh, you take care of uh, like first half food and that person take care of another uh, like dinner you take care of your lunch your and that person's lunch and that person take care of your dinner and that person's dinner so like that way you you will not have to eat the same food or leftover and uh, you will enjoy eating at least thank you so much for watching my video and uh, being a part of my journey and uh, yeah i love making youtube videos so keep supporting and uh, connect me on linkedin yeah that's it bye bye